we're going to give you our take on indoor s'mores. So <clears throat> Rebecca's going to do most of the lifting here. And we're going to right now come down and show you what you need. First of all, you need to build a fire pit in your living room. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, you don't really. We're not. So we are using, what are these called? Honey grams from, these are the Aldi brand. Cereal. Now, cereal. And these are what they look like. They're delicious. Oh my God, they are so good. And uh, we need five cups of those, but I have them separated. I'm using a four cup and then a one cup, and I'll explain why in a minute. We're also using the Aldi brand marshmallows. I got the large ones. Go ahead and get the small marshmallows, mm -hmm. the miniature marshmallows, if you can. And we are using milk chocolate. So this is the Aldi's also instead of the Hershey chocolate, just because we went to Aldi instead of the Hershey store. And first I'm going to put my butter in my pan so it can start slowly melting. You want it on a medium low. You don't want to cook the butter, you just want it to melt. This is a 10 ounce bag of uh, the large marshmallows. I had some that I cut up. I, uh, it, was a, it was a mess, you guys. I had to put some powdered sugar in this bowl and cut these with scissors because look, that's, they're real sticky. ones so um, you don't want to use the whole bag of miniature ones you want to put a few to the side for the last part of the mixing Okay, these are a little bit still lumpy and that's what we want. So I'm going to add my first four cups of cereal and give it a good stir around. And it looks like I will need some more cereal. And the way I can tell is there's just too much. I can see little puddles of marshmallows. So I'm going to go ahead and go with one more cup and that's my total five cups. I wasn't sure how much I was going to need. You need a buttered pan. I'm only doing half recipe so I'm using an eight by eight pan. So just filling up the buttered dish and mixing in some chocolate as we go. And if you can get this in a single layer and then put chocolate and then put more on it, you're more than welcome to try. That's a, a tricky way of doing this sticky mess. But my gosh, it's delicious. And here's a pro tip. If you butter your utensil, it, the candies won't stick. So kids, if you're going to use your hands with this, butter them. Just kind of gently mash down on them. You don't want to mash too hard because you don't want them tough. But you want to mash hard enough to where they're going to stick together when they cool off. And don't use a wooden spoon. Yeah, don't don't use that same wooden spoon because they'll stick. So these are our s'mores style um, marshmallow treats. And I took those marshmallows that I cut up and just put them on top there. It looks pretty and it's going to taste so good when uh, these finally get their taste test here in just a minute. These are so quick to make, you guys. We also made Cap'n Crunch and Cabin crunch and peanut butter pops on this side that's how quick and easy they are to make we were able to make three batches in 15 minutes 15 20 minutes
I'm going to do the taste test. We're going to do the s'mores first. It still could have set up a little longer. If you want it more like a bar, put it in the refrigerator. Oh, we just couldn't Come wait. On. We couldn't wait. We had to try it. Look at that. Mm. That tastes like a s'mores all the way. It was good. Mm -hmm. Really, 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 really good. And just to let you know, we did the Captain Crunch too. The red, the just original. I, love, I used to love that as a kid. Now these definitely need to set up a little more, but again, we couldn't wait. Those are really, really good, and got that real back strong corn flavor in the back. Mm. Delicious. They wow. are. Oh wow. And the next one is this new cereal. It was, um, what was it, chocolate covered? Peanut. Peanut butter corn puffs or something Peanut like that. Peanut butter chocolate. Now these wasn't that great by themselves, just to let you know. But we bought them, we went ahead and made them. I don't like it. Nah. It's so-so. I don't like the texture. That's like chewing styrofoam. But it was a new cereal we thought we'd try. Because mm -hmm. we're adventuresome. So that just goes to show you, you put your, you can use your favorite cereals for this, whether it's Count Chocula or Sugar Smacks or Fruity Pebbles, Fruity Pe anything. Cocoa you, Pebbles. You could do the uh, Lucky Charms and take. No, we've done checks before. Checks. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Guys. This is really delicious. It was fun to make. You kids are going to enjoy it. It's awesome. Bye, Sadie Have Sadie's a blessed family. day. We'll see y'all. Bye. Bye.